this is the harvest weekend and um, there have been market stalls around the cathedral square, artist installations, we've been baking bread, especially for the meal that's taking place here in, in the square today. The meal is called 70 by 7, Act 39 Peterborough. It's the 39th in a series of ongoing meals that have been taking place around the world. And this is the first time that we've been able to stage it in the UK of this scale, an outdoor meal. Peterborough has been quite unique because of the metal organisation that have helped coordinate the Harvest Weekend. There's been an Arts Council survey here in Peterborough and it's one of the towns which is lacking in cultural infrastructures and cultural initiatives. So it's really important for us to be able to create an event that brings people together, that talks about cultural activities, but also the interaction and the socialising around this. We have 500 people sitting down here for lunch today, as well as all the onlookers and visitors to Peterborough Cathedral, to Peterborough Square, to the city, who can taste an absolutely delicious menu of locally sourced food. I've heard people sitting around the table absolutely ecstatic about this meal, and I've heard people say, I don't know anybody here, but isn't that wonderful to come to a meal and not know anybody, and hopefully at the end of it, they'll go away and say, oh, we had such fascinating conversations. Wasn't it really stimulating? But we're also helping out a little bit. Inside the breads that have been baked for the meal, the 500 loaves, there have been little messages, we call them provocations, inserted inside the bread. So when you break it, the message will come out and you'll be able to have a conversation around issues that are important to the city. We've made an invisible artwork. I wonder if not many people might know that they're actually sitting in a living installation. And that's the beauty of it as well. Without the inhabitants, without the group sitting here around the table, this artwork wouldn't exist, so it's a real living sculpture.